Hey guys, come sew with me for the first time in my craft room. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you are new here, then I hope you enjoy this video. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get notified next time I upload. So in today's video, I am going to be doing the first of my crafting projects in my brand new craft room. Um, so I'm gonna take you along on that journey do have to apologise because I'm actually recording this at the time that I'm editing it because I seem to keep forgetting to do an introduction to the videos um, and I also forget to do an outro so um, this is my little intro I hope you enjoy um, this video I am going to be doing some hand sewing and some sewing machine sewing so let's jump in Hey guys, so it is Sunday and I am going to attempt to sew my um, cooker mitts together. Um, it's already 12.35, um, we have been up and busy this morning. I can now see my bedroom floor. I have thrown a lot of things, found places for a lot of things. Um, so the bedroom is looking much better. I actually dusted it for the first time in about two weeks today. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, but in the process of doing that, I uncovered um, Christmas cards. So what I do with my Christmas and birthday and special occasions cards is I keep them for the year. Um, and then when the next year rolls round, we throw away the ones from last year, with the exception of non-family cards. So it's only the special ones. So if they come from our mums and dads, um, if they come from my daughter, I keep them all year until I get the next one. Because it may sound morbid, but three of our parents are in their 70s and, you know my daughter's 21 and heaven forbid anything happened to them between now and next year i just want to have that last card that they sent to me because it will hold such a special place for me so i keep all of those and the rest of the christmas cards like we've got um this one here perfect for a gift tag so I actually take all my Christmas cards and I cut out all of the front um, things and make gift tags with them um, so that I'm reusing as much as possible and the rest goes into the recycling so um, I found those so I need to go through find out which ones we're keeping for the year and then I can cut the rest up um, that's not going to be a job for today because uh, we have a 80th birthday party to go to this afternoon and I've got a, I'm going over to see my daughter's father um, in preparation for her 21st birthday which is at the end of May. So um, I'm hopefully going to get both of them done. It shouldn't take me too long but I tell you what, if you've never worked with buyer's tape, it is horrendous it's just a nightmare I just don't like it so um it takes a lot a lot of practice and it's a lot of skill really and um, because you can't see through all of the layers of material you just don't know if you're catching that back piece so it is it's stressful and awkward so I'm going to take my time with it um and hopefully I will do okay um and then that will be that project done. So I will have done my first hand sewing project in the craft room and my first um, sewing machine project in the craft room, um, which is exciting. Um, so I am gonna get on with swapping out my laptop for my sewing machine and I get it all set up and uh, I'll bring you along. Okay guys, so my first project in my craft room was meant to be what you can see in this basket here this teasing it it's coming later um but i did some washing and my other half has got a hole in his jeans um the bottom area so i am going to sew up this hole as my first project in the craft room my mum and my nan always taught me a stitch in time saves nine um 
don't know whether that was nine pence maybe I don't know um but I think today we generally think there's a hole in it throw it away go to Primark get a new one um I am trying to steer away from that as much as possible um I am going to be looking at making my own clothing um and obviously trying to repair where we can and make things last a little longer so I am going to um sew this up what I have got is I've got quite a thick needle because it is denim so it's a little bit harder to sew through and then I've done um double uh thread there it's just standard cotton which may not last as long as it should but I've doubled it up to give it a bit more strength so that's what I have done and that's what I'm going to do right now There you go. Stitching time saves nine. First project finished. Okay, so my sewing machine is set up okay. Um, I do have the quilting um, walking foot on here to make it easier going through those layers. I was doing it originally without the quilting foot and it was it was worse than the nightmare that it is with the quilting foot. So um, it was an expensive piece of kit, but well worth it, especially if you're gonna be doing quilting. Um, which I'm not planning on doing, but it's always nice to have the different accessories. So regardless of what project you take on, you've got something to help you with it. Um, so <laughs> I don't want to, um, I don't want to ruin them. So I am going to attempt, attempt to do this guys. So um, wish me luck. Okay, so the join is really difficult where the two ends join and I think I've done better on the front than I've done on the back. But on the back, the bias tape is completely missed covering up the zigzag. And then I have slipped off just here on this corner, which really shouldn't be a thing because this is the one that's only got one side of fabric on because it's the top. So I've missed it there. And I think that's the only, oh, and a tiny little bit here where I first started. So all in all, not too bad given that it's been, where are we now? five months since I did it last, but this now has a massive hole in it, so I've got to fix that. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit annoying, uh, but at least it's the join part, so even when I'm ripping it, that's the bit that I started with, so it's not putting a hole in the side somewhere, but. <sighs> Seam ripper, anyone?
better. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I do this for fun, not because I'm a perfectionist. So you can see that is now more in line, which is great because that's the top anyway. And then on the back, it is now covering that. So I actually had to cut off some of the bottom piece because it was just bigger um, because I'm not a perfect sewer, guys. So um, when I cut all my squares out, they were all the same size. I used all the same pattern. But then when I sewed round the edges to do the um, binding of the wadding and the material, I did different seam allowances on all of them. So they all ended up a little bit odd shaped, but that's what makes them unique. Um, and I had a lot of fun making them bar the bias binding. So um, I'm just going to um, thread in these through before I cut them off, just to keep that nice and neat. And then I will do the second one and hopefully that one will go a little smoother. Touch wood. really well on that one actually okay so there is only one issue and I am going to just hand stitch that because I'm not going to redo the whole thing but I have managed to do all the edge and keep it all in except where I started just that little bit there so I'm just gonna hand sew that in with the ends um, just because then I don't have to go over it again with the machine and that is slightly showing the zigzag stitch of the bottom piece but I am not fussed with that that is so much better than any of the others I've done so I see that as a success so fantastic so I'm going to do that off camera but basically these are so that you can take things out of the oven, pick a pot up, um, put them on the side, sit your pot on top, so your work tops don't get damaged. Um, I saw these on the craft channel, so I will link the video below for you to show you exactly where you can get the tutorial for it if you want to do some yourself. Um, like I say, these match my curtain that I've got in my kitchen, so I am loving that. I hope you liked my first little crafty video in this craft room. Um, now that you've seen the whole thing um, put together. Um, so more exciting crafty stuff to come. Like I say, I am by no means an expert or very good. I just love to create and make and I love to be able to um, make something with somebody in mind and have them enjoy something even, even if it's not perfect um, shop worthy stuff. So um, thank you very much for joining me. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when I next upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.